Okay, Trace and I are ready for our ATV expedition. It should be a lot of fun. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. <laughs> Look who it is! I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Susan. Together we, we love to travel. One of our favorite places to be is aboard a Norwegian ship at sea. Good food, drinks, and friends make a relaxing trip indeed. So come along with us as we let the sea set us free. Okay, we're heading out for our ATV expedition in the pouring rain. Corporations logo in the middle of that sits a young man by the name of Jeet. He is a war hero. He was 16 years old when his story took place here in 1751. I'll tell you a story at the top of the mountain, and also you will see all the clans that are represented here in Huna today. The two main ones being the Raven and the Eagle. You can say Hootskai. Hootskai. Brown Bear Bay. The original name that the Klingons gave the Bay Elker. Its most recent name is Port Frederick, where your boat is docked up today. Its deepest point is 574 feet, right off of our Orca. Now this is actually our free port, or harbor here. We can actually come in for a couple of days if you do have a boat. Spend some time with us throughout the island, as the island is over 75 miles in length and 50 miles in width. Okay, you're actually on Chacon in Clinket that actually survived the fire. The reason for that is because it did have a little bit of a moat around it, and the fire stopped right before it. Now you might see some of the canoes back here, and also a carver. Here we go. Well, don't hit the brakes because it's hard for me to slow down. Due to the nutrition factors, unfortunately, one of those cubs will normally die. This year, we've actually had quite a bit of a blessing. We have three females.
be nurtured. It needed What's to be the, nudged. It needed to be... always larger than the male. Uh, the adolescents will actually have spots on their feathers, which is really neat. They do make for life. The male and female eagle will also take care of the um, uh, the eggs uh, while they're getting ready to be. If you happen to come across an eagle feather on your travels, please pick it up, take a look at it, and put it back down. I would not like for any of you find folks to get charged $15,000 yeah. if you keep it. Or if you do happen to be on a tour with a native or you're in a native area, you can actually take that eagle feather and present it to them.